Hello and welcome to each one of you to this new session of online lessons. Without further ado, let's begin. Today we are going to look at pseudocode part 5, selection, select case statement. The select case statement uh, is used for selection. The following shows how the select case statement works. So we have select case, this indicate the start of the selection. We'll be having a variable. This is will be used in the selection, a value used at uh, in the selection. Then we'll be having expressions. These are conditional values which have to be met for a particular problem. And we have the statement. This will be executed if the variable is equal to expression one. That is, if the value found in the variable is equal to the expression of the case, then this pseudocode statement will be executed. So this will be for second expression. So this will be executed if the var variable is equal to expression number two. And if they are not, the value in the variable is not equal to expression one, is not equal to expression two, it will go to case else, and this part will be executed. The AND SELECT part indicates the end of the selection. Let us look at an example of how to make use of the SELECT CASE statement. Example 1. Write a program using pseudocode that will input a category and output the range of code number based on the table below. Any other category will result to an error. So the first thing that we are going to do, we are going to input a category. So input category. And then we are going to check whether this category falls in these three values. To do that, we are going to make use of the select case statement. So we are going to select category. And we'll be having several cases for case A. If the category is equal to A, then we are going to output the range of code numbers 1 to 300. If it's in uh, the category B, then case B the range of code numbers is between 301 and 700 and for case C we're going to output the range of code numbers is between 701 and 1000 we also have been specified that for any other category we should result to an error so case else we're going to output invalid category if our input category is not equal to A, B or C and then given that we are not ha given that we don't have anything else to do we are going to end our select case statement example number 2 write a program using pseudocode that will input a grade and output the range of marks based on the following table any other grade will result in an error so pretty much similar to our previous question in here instead of uh, having a category we are having a grade so we are going to input the grade first and then we're going to select this grade so that we can go through the different cases so for case A if the grade is equal to A the range is between 90 and 100 case B 18 and 89 case C 1779 case D 1669 case E 1559 case F 0 to 50 and given that we have said any other grade will result in error, so we'll be having a case else, which will indicate invalid grade if the grade is not between A and F. Also, we have not been uh, said to do any anything more in the question, so we're going to have and select to indicate the end of the selection. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and uh, leave a comment on how the channel can be improved. Until then, see you next time.